Well, welcome to Tucson. I haven't been in an airport this small in a long time, but finally back here to get the Model Y. And um, I think it's like 30 minutes from the airport. I don't know. I got to look it up. I got to get an Uber to get there. It's like uh, midnight. No, it's 11 o'clock local, I think. Anyway, then I got to get to the car another half hour. Got to charge it up because it sat out in the sun, lost all of its charge. And I can drive to Phoenix tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll address some of the smaller concerns. So, with that said, welcome to Arizona. Okay, there's no way you can see that. Nope, not on that lens, that lens. Oh, man, that's really bad. It's so dark back here at the back of Tesla's store. But I did find my car. And uh, I was able to set up phone key. So, quick note, I upgraded my phone while I was gone. So uh phone key was gone, which means I couldn't even like control the car remotely uh, because of that. So now it is back online and this is crazy. When I was watching the car after they had fixed it, the new battery, this thing was sitting at 99% when I checked the app and I noticed first. 99% and in maybe a week and a half, I guess. Well, no, Tuesday, less than a week, actually. Um, I think, I don't know, I got my times all mixed up, but it stopped everything at 20%. So it turns out when they replaced the battery, it must have reset the settings because I have this on overheat protection, but I have it with no AC. And Josh was able to look it up on his phone because I had gave him access and he had was already set up his phone key. But my new phone, I could not, look into anything. I couldn't even control climate because phone key wasn't activated or whatever. So that's kind of the situation. We do have a software update, which is cool, but it's nothing um, exciting. It's just uh, some security improvements. So we are, I don't know, moments, days away from V14. Gosh, I hope we get lucky and it happens before we have finished this up. But here's the plan. So first things first, I'm gonna to get to this supercharger in Tucson and then I'm gonna drive up to Phoenix. And the reason is because although the battery is fixed, um, I still have an issue that we need to address with the um, suspension. So that bracket, I got a replacement. It's up in Phoenix and I've got access to a lift, which I'm excited to show you where that's at. It's a surprise. Tomorrow morning, afternoon, we'll uh, head over there and put this thing on a lift and try to fix that. And then um, we should be ready to go. Josh will be flying in, I think, Monday evening or something like that. So as it sits right now, if everything works as planned and there's no changes it is sunday evening right now monday we'll fix the car tuesday we will get back on the road and finish this trial of fsd coast to coast so with that i need to go down the street get plugged in and uh, we'll get this thing rolling here i'll probably check in with you either at the end of the night or first thing in the morning Here to see my friend Pete and the crew, Aaron over here. We've got the car up on a lift. Shout out to Pete and the team here for accommodating us to get the car on the lift. We're gonna fix this today. So this is the last thing we gotta do. We gotta get the suspension corrected and it is just this one spot. Let's take a look. I bought some rib nuts and some other bolts and nuts from the hardware store. So that way we've got as many options as possible. The one thing I'm noticing right away though, the hole's a lot smaller than I remember it being. So some of the hardware I bought might be a little too big, but uh, we'll figure this out and get this thing nice and secure. I did also get a replacement bracket, thanks to uh, G at Test Bros for helping me order this from Tesla. So we've got a clean, fresh one that's not all bent up and beat up. And uh, that'll be replacing this bad boy which uh, I guess shout out to uh, Desert Muffler, where no muff is too tough. They uh, really went to work on this thing and um, got us on the road, at least temporarily. So let's take a look under the car and show you uh, what we're working with. All right, so we've already removed the bracket. So this is this stud is good and that stud was also here. The problem is the way that this subframe is assembled is 
These studs are put in from the top and welded in place, and then this bracket right here gets welded onto this subframe. That's why Tesla wanted two grand to do this repair because they need to replace this entire thing. It's about, I think it was about 1500 in parts and about $500 in labor, something like that. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna utilize this hole still and I'm gonna tap into this either with a riv nut, which I think would be the best option or a new stud of my own. And then we'll have um, two mounting points and then this will be nice and secure. Once again, I could not order just this bushing, which was interesting. You gotta order the whole assembly. And that was like, I don't know, I think it was like 280 bucks, but I thought that was interesting. Maybe it's something more maintenance catalog item that uh, was a little bit harder to find. So that's what we're working with. So Pete. All right, Pete. So what do you think after we've taken it apart? What are your thoughts? Well, very lucky is the first thing that comes to mind. You avoided a whole lot of very expensive stuff. So it's fixable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of what you guys do, like all of this stuff, they're keeping these things on the road because of, that's exactly what they do. It's being able to repair rather than just replace, which is kind of the whole ethos of what you guys do here, which is awesome. But I can't thank you enough, Pete, for oh, hooking us up, bringing us in here and uh, taking care of us. Appreciate it. With, with the roadsters, we have no choice. We have to keep them alive by doing exactly what we're doing here, improvising, innovating, and rebuilding and creating new parts. Yeah. That's right. Much well, easier with a sexy vehicle. I was, I was amazed. He's got a bracket. He's got. Uh, it's easy. It's a lot easier to order parts for this car, isn't it? <laughs> a little harder to get parts for this guy right here. Huge shout out to my friend Pete at Gruber Motors here in Phoenix. Our last little bit that we needed to repair on the Model Y is done, which means the only thing we have left to do is wait for Josh to get here so we can get back on the road. We are finishing this trip, so we'll pick up from where we left off, which is the Tesla store in Tucson, and we'll continue this full self-driving trip. 